Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Place Final Fantasy V. Today, we're going to be going over the job classes that we just got from the Wind Crystal, starting with the Knight. The Knight is a melee class that can equip dagger swords and knight swords. It's restricted to heavy armor and can equip shields. It has the job ability of Guard, which is an improved defense stance. So say you select Guard, you enter a defensive pose, and if you get hit by an enemy, you take no damage. It's fairly decent. The Knight also has a passive ability that allows him to cover an ally that's in critical health. So it's sort of like the Cecil's uh, cover ability from Final Fantasy IV, except it's only passive. Uh, now that can be com comboed with guard, so if you're guarding and you cover someone, you'll take no damage and still guard your ally. It's fairly decent, and if you have counter, you can you have a 50% chance of actually countering that cover. Uh, it takes some planning ahead or at least being observant of when your allies are in low health. You should really always do that anyways because you're going to want to hail them. <laughs> at least I will. I like having my, my characters fully healed. Uh, aside from that, the knight will eventually learn the two-handed trait, which you can equip and allows you to uh, double hand a weapon or double grip a weapon so you can cause more damage with it. Now, moving on to the monk. The monk is pretty much, well, Yang from Final Fantasy IV. You have the kick command, which allows you to kick an entire group of enemies. Strangely enough, it's the only command in the game you can't learn from a class. That's really weird. I don't know why they did that, but I mean, it's not that great of a command anyways. Now, the monk sports the highest strength and stamina, so it's ideal for any melee-focused character. And... But it's very limited in equipment. It has a lot of health, so that kind of makes up for the limited equipment. But for equipment-wise, you know, it has no weapons. It can only equip light helmets and clothing items and armlets. So, I mean, you're going to go through early game with monks fairly easily. But if you don't have any backup healers or anything like that, eventually it's just going to be like, okay, well, I'm taking too much damage now. They do have a lot of health, and they will survive a lot of damage. But it's... You'll, you'll just take a lot of damage, too. Uh, moving on to the Thief. The Thief has a passive called uh, Vigilance that prevents back attacks. It has a hidden passage finding passive, so you can actually see all hidden passages as a Thief or as a freelancer that has mastered Thief. And has the ability to steal. Now, stealing is not that great early on. Later on, it's a little better, but... Early on, you're mostly just going to be stealing potions. Uh, it can only equip daggers, and it's very limited in equipment as well. It's not the best melee class to actually deal with, but it's a great class to master because of all of its passives and because it has the highest speed stat in the game. Now, moving on to the White Mage and Black Mage. They're pretty much what you know from past games. White Magic, Black Magic. Black Mages have the highest uh, magic stat in the game, White mages hail you. Good characters. You want a, you want one of each in a party, pretty much at all times. Next up is the blue mage. It's actually the first time we've seen a blue mage in a Final Fantasy game. The blue mage has the ability to learn monster skills, which we'll be doing quite shortly, actually. And it's a kind of a mix between mages and knights. So you have decent of all stats, and a fairly decent magic stat, too. And you can equip a good deal of armor as well. Though it's not the best, it's kind of like a jack-of-all-trades aspect of it. You, you're not the best mage, you're not the best knight, but you're fairly good. However, blue magic is really goddamn good in this game, so it's going to be fun using that. I'm going to try not to abuse it too much, but it's definitely a skill worth having. Now, you're probably asking yourself, Kronos, are you going to master all the classes in the game? Hell no. That's gonna That would take forever. <laughs> Uh, what I am going to do is pretty much limit a character to, or limit a class to a character. So, say, a monk. Only Bartz will be able to equip the monk. Lena. Only Lena can equip the white mage. Galuf. Only Galuf can equip the black mage. Thief. Only Ferris can equip the black mage. Uh, <laughs> the thief, excuse me. Um, so, it's, we're going to be doing it that way. With the exception of the Blue Mage, I'm going to get everyone up to level 2 in the Blue Mage, and eventually this is just going to be Bart's class. But I want to get everyone the learning passive just so I can uh, not have to switch out people or switch out everyone to the, the, the Blue Mage class to learn Blue Magic. 
and I won't have to get lucky and get hit by the blue magic later on. So I'm just gonna take everyone over to a blue mage right now, and then we're gonna head inside the wind shrine. One to heal up, and two to find some blue magic. So let's go in there now. Did you guys watch the uh, trailer for the mobile version of Final Fantasy VII? It's a PC port, again. Um, but they pretty much showed every cutscene in that game of Final Fantasy VII. It was quite surprising, actually. I was watching and I'm just like, are they just going to show out every scene that was CG or like pre-rendered CGI? And the answer was, yeah, almost. So I'm going to stay up here on this floor and hopefully we'll get the character, the monsters relatively quick. Up oh, there, there it is actually. There's two of them. We want to kill this guy in the back. And so the Black Goblin will use Goblin Punch, which is damage based off your level in comparison to the enemy's level. So say one is level three, now there's Goblin Punch, and then the Goblin was level three, that would do a lot of damage. Now Moldwin back here, we can kill that Goblin now. Yeah, Moldwin back here will actually be able to cast uh, Arrow, it's a Wind Elemental spell, and it will likely kill whoever it hits. So I'm gonna need to revive them. Well, there goes Galuf. Fuck. <laughs> I might want to revive him. Oh, we only have two. Yeah, I want to revive him. I want to keep the experience kind of the same. It's kind of a waste of a... A Phoenix down, but whatever. Now, Arrow's gonna kill whoever it hits. We just gotta wait for him to use it. It will cause about 70 to 80 points of damage, which is not the amount of health that I have right now. There's a nice critical. Come on, Moldwin, use arrow. Don't make me cut to it. There we go. On Galuf. 84. Revive and attack. Great. So we learned two blue magics there. Goblin Punch and Arrow. Fairly good. Alright, I'm gonna go back downstairs, heal up, and I'll meet you guys at the ship. Alright, so my guys are still level... Uh, not level, but uh, still blue mages. We're going to keep them as that for a little while after we visit Thule. Uh, we're going to have... We have one more uh, blue magic to find, but we'll probably actually have to do that next episode. Ah, uh, Thule. Grog, grog, grog. I think that's like rum or something, isn't it? It's like rum mixed with something. Huh, I'll have to Google that later. I think I'll stop in and have a drink myself. Or as well. Always adding words to the text boxes. Anyways, let's talk to the Pajama Man here. You look like a little wet behind the ear. How's about I take you to the Greenhorns Club? Alright. Yeah, I reckon so. First, shut your eyes. Can't have just anyone figuring out where it is. Good job, old man. You moved me three places. Awesome. Hi, lady. Oh, of course I'm new to this. If you say no, she's like, well, then you're not welcome here. Now, I'm not going to talk to these guys, because, well, I don't want to. And I don't really need to. They will just explain everything that's going on in this game. And I would rather not hear it from them. It's very long. <laughs> Maybe we get some items there. If we were thieves, we would be able to see this. It'd be like a gray outline. Hey, old man. Inside the chest is a present for me. Is it? Okay, sure. It's a trap. It's a very bad trap. Oh, we got leather shoes out of it, though. Ho, ho, ho. I played a joke. All right, let's uh, head out. We got some hidden items that we need to get. Oh, God. I'm trapped. Let me out. Not you. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention the thief actually has a sprint ability as well, which is another good reason to have one in the party. But first thing first, let's uh let's go get drunk. Yar, the captain's upstairs. Captain, you're so dreamy. Take a load off. <laughs> hey, if you look real close, you're a fetching lass, Lena. Wow.
Give me a lap dance, ladies. For you, honey, you got something special. Everything's looking rather pink today, I'd say. Nice heart. <laughs> All right, get off. You say anything? I, I'm not looking at anything, you perv. Get your mind out of the gutter. You're literally looking at nothing right now. The women are over here. Woo! Let's play the piano. Now in Final Fantasy V, there's gonna be pianos scattered throughout the lands that you'll need to find and play. As you can hear, we need practice. <laughs> Piano skills leveled up. Now you can use it again and it will sound a little bit better, but it's it's fine. We don't need to do that. Hey, Ferris. You got anything good in your room? Hold on, I'll go check on him. Ah, silly music. Barts, what do you got that goofy look on for? Uh, nothing. I didn't see anything. It must have been a trick of the light or something. For crying out loud, shove over and let me see. Great Caesar's ghost! Just gorgeous. Sure haven't felt like that in a spell. You have amnesia. You're supposed to not remember anything. Like Caesar. Who doesn't even exist in this world. What in the world are you two on about? Yawn. Slept like a babe, I did. On a funny note, in the PlayStation version, Ferris constantly has a pirate exit. So she's like, yarr, slept like a babe. What are you two gawking at? Get a hold of yourself. Herselves. I need a little bit more time to myself, so shove off, will you? Bye, Ferris. Sorry for being creepy over your bed like that. Probably won't happen again. I can't really make promises like that anymore. Court order. Alright, let's go get some hidden items. Now, there's some shops in here, and if you go in there to, like, a weapon shop, Ferris will come in and be like, Hey, don't forget about me. And, you know, then she'll appear on the menu screen. Uh, he's not currently in your party right now, as you, as you can see. Actually, you probably saw when I was in that battle earlier, which kind of stinks because it does throw off the uh, experience a little bit. You get a tent. And a potion. Now, the magic shop here, it's probably the only shop I'll actually be using. We might not have enough to actually purchase everything, so I want to get all of this. We don't. All right. We'll come back for Libra and Poisona a little bit later, probably after we get the next uh, blue magic spell, which we'll have to go back to the pirate's hideout for. Let's go up here to this little plant that's just begging to be searched. I'm going to Phoenix down. Now, I could sell, like, a tent or something and save me the time from coming back here. Hmm. I'm pretty sure this is Ox House, but... Actually, I'd probably go sell something and get that. Someone you know. Yes, he, beat, he built the Trona Canal. Well, that's good. We need to go through that to get to the next area. But first... How much you guys want to bet that this is, uh, another pair of leather shoes? You guys owe me a hundred gil. Because clearly, you didn't guess leather shoes. Uh, yeah, let's go sell that tent and then buy the magic. It'll also show that, uh, the whole Ferris thing. Don't forget about me! Oh, I'd never forget about you. Let's go over to sell. Uh, I can sell some shoes. I want the staff. How much do I get for this? 125. That's... Mm, actually, I think that's enough. So it was like 90 and 80. That's 170. We're going to be strapped for cash, but... We should be good. Yeah, see you too, Ferris. Let's go in here. Yeah, It's not a huge deal if you miss out on Libra and 
poison her. But I, I, I kind of just want to get all the spells as soon as I can because that's just how the way I roll. Hey, Zark. We need help. Oh, Princess Lena. Zark, it's good to see you. Yes, it's been a long time. Zark, I have a favor to ask. We must get to Walls, so we need to pass through the Trona Canal. Oh dear, ever since the Wind Crystal has been was destroyed. How do you know that? Did you read the script too? The beasts in the canal have multiplied like rabbits. They're fucking Lena, all over the place. Moreover, well, I... I seem to have lost the key to the canal somewhere. I'm sorry, I cannot help you with the key. Still, since you've come all this way, why don't you at least stay the night? I won't do anything creepy like watch you as you sleep, I swear! Wonderful! That sounds so familiar. Anyways, wonderful! Then follow me! Pokemon Snap, Professor Oak. Wonderful! Man, those crickets are loud as hell. They also don't sound like crickets. The crystals, now that I think of it, they're the reason Dad abandoned me and made me have daddy issues. The crystals must be protected at any cost. Even abandoning my own family. Stella, if anything has, should happen to me, never tell bots about the crystal. They, they aren't his burden to bear. Text box that moved too fastly. Yeah, well, I'm... Oh, okay. I was like, I'm not going to even bother trying to read that one because it's going to go away too fast. But no, it actually paused. Fine, game. I, I hear you. I didn't want to do another female voice anyways. Lord knows I'll have enough to do by the end of this game. <laughs> Oh, your hair is so silky. Your skin is so smooth. Bartz, what are you doing here? I thought you were... you left. I wasn't doing anything creepy, I swear. Uh, nothing. I was just reminded of my folks. They died a while back. Here, take it, and tell no one what you saw. Oh, it's the key to canal. With it, you can open the gate. Yes, we know. You hid the key! He was worried about Lena. Which is understandable, because she's the princess. And she really shouldn't be, like, traveling with us at all. Instead, like, should be at the castle. Protected by walls and guards who are actually trained the fight. I guess that would be too boring, wouldn't it? All right, now that we have the key, we can leave and go to the canal. Is there anything interesting? Princess. I'm sorry about last night. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, we can leave now and go to the canal. We won't be doing that this time. Uh, we'll be doing it next time. Uh, after we get the last blue magic spell for the area. Captain, wait up. Sorry, lads. I'm leaving you laggards behind. Captain! Arr, but why? You know it would follow you to the end of the earth. Arr. I know, and I thank you all. You even got rid of your left eyes for me. But not this time. Captain! This smells of a long journey. While I'm gone, I need you lots to guard the hideout. We can't just let anyone raid our booty now. That's sound advice, Ferris. 
Aw, uh, I mean, I'd probably take them. Just to have extra party members. Yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> just to have extra power party members. Your wind's at your back, Captain. Godspeed. And thus we leave the pirates behind. And take their ship. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of the content, and see if it's to your liking. Next time, we're going to go back to the pirate hideout. We're also going to get the last blue magic in this area. And then we're going to head to the Tronaut Canal. Thanks again for watching. I hope I'll see you all then.